All right, so we're gonna talk about something today where a lot of people, there's a lot of misinformation about this in terms of fiberglass pools and pools in general. And we're gonna talk about hydrostatic pressure. Now, you might be getting a lot of pool quotes from different people. Some of them might install vinyl along with fiberglass and they might they might be trying to steer you away from getting a fiberglass pool because they're gonna say, oh, the pool shell's just gonna pop out of the ground and you'll be spending tens of thousands of dollars to fix it and, and you should just go with a vinyl pool instead. Now, it is true that hydrostatic pressure has floated pools before, but not just fiberglass. It also affects vinyl pools and it also affects concrete pools. It's simple physics. We're gonna go through a little diagram here, but basically anything with more water around it than inside of it is gonna have hydrostatic pressure affect it and it's gonna float, it's gonna be buoyant. It's just how physics works. So I've got my Petro pool water. I've got our little new A-series model here uh, for the new pool model that River Pools released this year. And I've got the ground around my pool, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'll bring you in here and so you can see this, but basically I'm gonna pour groundwater around the outside of my pool. And let's just say for you know demonstration, I have drained my pool for whatever reason. Maybe it's over winter, maybe there was a repair that needed to happen. I've drained my pool, right? And the groundwater, I live in a high water table area and there's a bunch of groundwater. Um, when I drain my pool, it's gonna float, it's gonna pop up and that's where you get situations of hydrostatic pressure affecting pools, right? If you have full water pressure in your pool, if you have full water pressure in your pool, so we're gonna pour pool water into our little model right here. Okay, our pool is full and then you still have groundwater around your pool, but you haven't drained your pool, right? Nothing's gonna happen. As long as the water level doesn't exceed my pool, which would be more water around the pool than in it, that pool's gonna stay right there. It is not gonna move. So as an installer that only installs fiberglass pools, there's two things that we do to prevent hydrostatic pressure from ever affecting an in-ground fiberglass pool. You have a dewatering pipe next to your pool. So you basically you'd have the pool in the ground and you'd have a pipe that goes next to it that goes deeper than the deepest part of your pool and you're able to monitor that groundwater and pump it out if need be. And then the second thing we do is we tell you, you always need to have full water pressure in your pool. That's it, you need those two things and you will literally never have hydrostatic pressure affect your fiberglass pool. Oftentimes what we see is we see these vinyl guys who maybe they install a couple fiberglass pools a year but they really don't like it because they're, they're really afraid to install it. And they tell you the fiberglass has all these problems but the problems only come up due to improper installation. So as long as you have a good installer who knows what they're doing, you'll be fine.